and it's way out in the Atlantic. So Jason doesn't look like Danielle will be a threat to us though. No, it's what we call a fish storm. It's only affecting fish and maybe a few <laughs> ships and aircraft traveling across the Atlantic. And it's a long way away from the continental US. We'll start the satellite view here and then spin the globe so that you can see Danielle spinning away in the North Atlantic and this storm will gradually move toward the north over the next five days. It is a slow mover. This is five days worth of a forecast right here, and you can see it's not getting all that far away from its initial point here. Forecast to briefly become a category two or potentially even a category three hurricane out here, but it affects practically no landmass whatsoever, including the Alabama Gulf Coast. If you got beach plans for the upcoming weekend, it doesn't look like the greatest, driest, most perfect Labor Day weekend that you'll ever find. But overall, it's not going to rain the whole time, even though the chance of rain is high. These are scattered showers and thunderstorms that will develop each afternoon with high temperatures in the 80s. What an afternoon around here. Yeah, it's hot. But it's sunny and it's dry. The dew points below 65, so the air is very breathable. It's 91 in Tuscaloosa, 89 in Gadsden, 89 in Alabaster, and 90 in Haleyville. The humid air is coming back, though. In fact, by tomorrow morning, you'll already start seeing some clouds come in from the south. We get a few spotty downpours tomorrow afternoon, and then the weather turns wet at times going through the upcoming Labor Day weekend. The main reason for that is a disturbance out to the west that's going to send smaller disturbances this way over the next several days. And each time one of them passes, it brings more moisture northbound with it, and it helps to fire off a lot of showers and thunderstorms. And since we get the pipeline here of very humid air and that disturbance stays parked out to the west, we stay on the wet side of that system and that'll keep the showers coming day after day. So tomorrow, just a little scattering of hit or miss showers. We pepper in a few more on Saturday, throw in a few more on Sunday and then throw in a few more on Monday until the point where we've added up maybe more than two inches of rain in some isolated spots. I think the majority of us probably stay around that uh, one to two inch category through the next seven days. So we're comfortable this evening. More humid tomorrow morning. Spotty storms start developing tomorrow afternoon. The best chance of a storm would be mainly east of the Birmingham area through Talladega County, Clay County, down toward Alexander City. Fewer showers to the northwest, but one or two still possible even around Tuscaloosa and Jasper. For high school football, a downpour or two is possible. Slight chance of a shower even through 9 p.m. tomorrow. Better chance of rain and thunderstorms over the upcoming Labor Day weekend, and they don't really go away. They thin out a bit going into next week, and that'll keep the temperatures suppressed, but I wouldn't exactly call it cool and comfortable. Sherry and Guy.